friends, it's Miss Emily. Um, we're going to work on Hegarty again. Um, just for our parents at home, if you were wondering why we do Hegarty every day, it helps um, with phonetic awareness so that um, the children can learn how to speak more clearly, use their words correctly. It also helps with learning how to read later. Um, we try to make it super fun because everybody knows it can be a little boring to sit here and just say words back and forth. Um, if you would love like to do this with your child, we would love to see that um, because having adults do it with them helps them really instill that this is something that's important to do. So we're going to start with rhyming. And again, just a reminder, friends, a rhyming word is a word that sounds the same as another word. So like bat and cat rhyme. And if the word rhymes that I tell you, you're going to give me a huge thumbs up. And if it does not rhyme, you can give me a big thumbs down. All right, let's begin. We're going to start with sign and fine. Sign and fine. Do sign and fine rhyme? You should be giving me a big thumbs up because they do rhyme. What about plum and plate? Plum and plate. No, those words don't sound the same. Um, so they don't rhyme. Next we have you and shoe. You and shoe. Do you and shoe rhyme? should be giving me that big thumbs up, guys, because that does rhyme. Those words sound the same. What about check and chips? Check and chips. No, those words don't sound the same at the end, so they are not rhyming words. What about dust and rust? Do dust and rust sound the same? Yes, you should be giving me a huge thumbs up because those do sound the same. Today was a little tricky. They tried to trick us by making the beginning of the words sound the same. But when we're looking for rhymes, we're using our big listening ears and we're only listening for the end of the sound. So I'm sure you guys did so awesome at that. So go ahead and give your brain a big kiss because you are also smart and kisses feed your brain. All right. We're gonna do the I sound. Ready? Repeat after Miss Emily. I, I, igloo. I, I, ill. And then we've got the ah sound. So repeat after me, ready? Ah, ah, ad, ah, ah, ask. And then we have the s sound, like snakes. So can you pretend to be a snake with me? And we're going to use those words with s -s -s save and s -s -s says. And then we're going to do the t t t sound with the words t t take and t t told. You should feel that t sound in your belly. So make sure you put your hands on your belly and you're feeling it. T t t t. And if you are you if you are ready, we're gonna start with the p sound. So p p pie, p p pass. And sometimes if you do the p sound, you hear a little tiny pop with your listening ears. All right. If I have the m sound in this hand and the long e m e me, and if I have the G, g, g sound in here and that long O, G, O, go. And what about if I have P, P, P in this hand and that long A that goes A, P, A, P, A, P. And if I have the H, H, H sound in this hand and we come in with that long E and we go E, H, E, he. And if I have that s, s sound in my hand here, and I have the long O, oh, I have s, O, oh, S, O, oh, so. All right. Remember, we're going to do repeat after me. It's like a game of copycat. B, at, B, at. And 
and h in in and d id d id did s ock s ock or b un b un All right, and we've got b in this hand and that long e, b, e, b. And we have u in this hand. Oh, sorry friends, I was reading the wrong day. We have the w sound in this hand and that long a, w, a, way. And we have f, f in this hand and e in this hand, f, e, fi. And we have d, d, d in here, and a, d, a, day. And we have that y, y sound, and that oo sound, y, oo, you. All right, we're gonna play a little game, friends. Are you ready? I'm gonna hold up a letter, and you're number one gonna shout out, what letter is that? And then you're gonna number two, tell me what sound that makes. Are we ready for our first letter? Here it is. What letter is that? Hmm. That is the letter R. And who knows what sound the R makes? Think about it for a second. Hmm. The R says er. Er, this is big R. All right. Are we ready for another letter? What letter is this? I know we have some friends whose name starts with this letter. This is Z. Z. Z is the sound that it makes almost like a, a zap. <gasps> okay. All right. I'm going to try and trick you. Are you ready? What letter is this? Who knows what letter that is? You should be shouting it out right now. That is the letter F. Who knows what sound it makes? If you had to think, what sound does F make? It goes f, 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 f. All right, we're on the last one, guys. Who knows what letter this is? That's right, it's the letter C. And the letter C says, well, it can say its own name sometimes. It can go C. Or it mostly goes ka ka ka. All right. And now we're going to say the last part of our rhyme from yesterday. Remember, it goes patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it, pat it, and mark it with a B. And put it in the oven for baby and me. I bet a lot of you already knew that. So if you already knew that rhyme, go ahead and give yourself a big clap because you are so, so smart. All right, friends, I hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow.